So we talked about data and we talked about user testing, but there's an important part uh, within this that needs to be understood, and that's the methodology. So methodology, user testing methodology, is the rules and the procedures that you use to define the systematic collection, analysis, and reporting of your data. Uh, user testing methodology is applied to control the research around how you're conducting this testing so that each and every time this research is conducted, it produces valuable, valid, repeatable results each and every time. All right? Uh, the types of things that you use in your methodology helps build uh, a profile around how you should be conducting user testing, when you should be conducting user testing, and in which ways you be, should be conducting user testing. So some of the things that methodology includes is the number of tests to be conducted, the audiences that is going to be tested on, the number of participants needed for you know data validity, the testing implementation strategy, how long or the duration of your testing, the materials that you need, the requirements, and the hypotheses that you're uh, trying to test and the expected outcomes that you're trying to receive. All of these go within your testing methodology. And it's important for you to develop a testing methodology because as you conduct user testing, methodology provides you with the guidelines that you need to report your product development methods accurately. And in addition, it helps you provide and it gives you direction on how you should be watching over the activities of your product development process. It provides structure uh, to your system. So every time you're conducting research, no matter what audience is on, you have a system in place that's making sure that you are collecting the right information at the right time with the right people and doing the right things to get valid information. Uh, next, methodology helps you to conduct uh, evaluation, especially around intervention or when things happen. It helps you better address uh, when those challenges arises. And also with prevention, helping you predict uh, how to make changes before problems occur. Uh, but most importantly, a proper methodology helps you work to develop an efficient practice of research and development within your product development uh, journey. So met methodology provides you with the documentation uh, and proof that the results that you report on your product are accurate and trustworthy. And to help you develop uh, a sound methodology, we develop uh, an instrument implementation canvas. And this canvas helps you to develop a sound methodology in a matter of minutes. So the elements within this canvas include our data collection methods or the process in which this instrument that we intend to use uh, to collect data will be used. The training that's required uh, to use the instrument. Implementations or the number of times the instrument needs to be used to get the data that you need. Sampling aim. So a sample is a small subset of an overall group. So the sampling aim is the overall goal that you have in place to get enough results from the people that you are trying to target. So what is the goal that you are trying to reach and who are you trying to target with that goal? Demographics, kind of like we discussed with customer persona, is the data related to the groups and the populations that you're trying to serve. And the sampling limitations are the conditions which uh, sampling may pe be prevented. So in some scenarios, it may be difficult or there may be challenges involved with gathering data from the people you're trying to target. So sampling limitations is lim uh, identifying out all of those uh, possible situations in which uh, your data may be biased or skewed when you're trying to gather the data that you need. So for our next workshop, we're going to fill out our instrument implementation canvas. And through that, I want you to take five minutes to identify how your instrument will be used, what training will be required to use that instrument, how many times you will implement your instrument, who you are targeting and why, the demographics of this audience that you're targeting, and the limitations associated with that audience uh, that will prevent you from gathering valuable data. So let's take five minutes to answer these six questions. Using your instrument implementation canvas, uh, fill out these questions uh, and document them on your canvas. So how will your instrument be used? Fill it out for your data collection methods. 
What trainings are required to use the instrument? How many times will you implement this instrument? Who are you targeting and why? What are the demographics of that target audience? And are there any limitations associated with that audience that will prevent you from receiving valuable data?